hey guys hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel this is norman patel and uh, as you know that uh, we have started with our lecture series on the biochemistry spotter and this is the second part of the biochemistry spotter series so if you have not seen the first part press the i button on the top and you can view from it or else i have put the link in the description box and you can see it from there also I suggest that it is better that uh, you see uh, the video first of the first part and then of the second part so that you will be in the synchrony of it because I am planning to upload uh, 9 to 10 such videos of it. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we put such videos. So let's move to our spotters. Uh, move, moving to the spot number 11 and uh, the question is that we have to identify the swelling and name the mineral that is essential for its proper functioning so from the figure we can see this is the classical spot in which we can see that there is a bilobed swelling present on the neck region so this swelling is the important sign that we can see from the figure so i request everyone as uh, i stated in my first lecture that you should pause the video here give a time to yourself Think of the answer what will be it then resume it and uh, clarify with you that what answer you have given because this would be beneficial to you rather than seeing the answer as it is. So let's see the solution of it. So the given condition is called as the goiter and the mineral that is necessary for its proper functioning is iodine. Let's move to the next spot. So this given spot is the classical condition in which you can see that a person has got uh, yellowish eyes and its entire face has become yellow. We have to identify the clinical symptom named to congenital hyperbilirubinic condition. What is the normal serum bilirubin level and what is the enzyme that is required for the bilirubin conjugation. So see there are four questions based on this uh, uh, image and I have put all four, the, four of them here. It's not necessary that you will be getting this four question as it is. Only thing is that you will be getting only one or two from it. Right. So moving to the solution of it. So the given symptom is jaundice. The conditions, congenital conditions mainly in which uh, this kind of symptom is seen is the krigner naja syndrome, Gilbert syndrome and dubin jones syndrome. What is the normal uh, bilirubin level? So the total bilirubin level is 0.2 to 1 milligram per dl. Out of which the unconjugated bilirubin is about 0.2 to 0.6 milligram per dl and conjugated bilirubin is about 0.2 to 0.4 milligram per dl. So the last question is what is the enzyme that is required for the conjugation of bilirubin. So the enzyme that is required for the bilirubin conjugation is UDP glucorinol transferase enzyme. Right. Moving on to the next spot. So the next spot represents a figure of a girl in which his entire face in fact here's an entire body is white in color. We have to identify this what is this clinical condition we have to give the diagnosis of it and we have to name the enzyme that is the cause of such a condition in this girl so as i said give a time then move to the answer let's move to the answer so the given condition is albinism and the enzyme deficiency that is associated with it is the tyrosinase enzyme deficiency Let's move to the next spot. So the spot says that we have to identify the crystal, name the two other substances that give crystal of similar shape. So this is the practical biochemistry question in which you will be, uh, this probably you had been done in the first part of your practicals in which uh, uh, like uh, different experiments with the different sugars and you have to identify whether it is a glucose fructose or mannose etc etc so the crystal that we can identify from this figure is based on its shape so what is the shape of the crystal and we can give easily the answer of it let's move to the answer so the given crystal is needle shape so it would be a glucosazone crystal and the and the other sugars that give such a shaped crystal are glucose, fructose and mannose. Basically 
all the monosaccharides give such a kind of the shaped crystals let's move to the next spot so the next spot says that what is the vitamin that is present in the carrot and write down its rda so it is a direct question from the chapter vitamins and minerals of the uh, biochemistry book whether you are referring satya narayana or whether you are referring vasudevan let's move to the answer of it so the given answer is vitamin a and the rda is 900 and 700 microgram retinol activity equivalents per day see 900 and 700 means that 900 required for female and 700 is required for female so this 700 requirement increases in case of pregnancy and lactation move to the next quarter so what is the instrument given in this quarter and we have to write down its use so it is also a practical biochemistry question that will be uh, the, you will be doing in your labs so the given instrument is a gel electrophoresis and it is a technique that is used to separate the dna fragments according to their size as dna fragments are negatively charged so they move towards the positive electrode so the use of it is that with the help of this we can separate the fragments of the dna and we and certainly this is useful in identifying and diagnosis of a certain diseases that are congenital or the diseases that uh, has been mainly due to the uh, faulty location or the dislocation of the chromosomes move to the next quarter we have to identify the structure that is shown here and uh, we have to give to important uses so the given structure is the liposome and it is used for the drug delivery and gene therapy let's move to the last spot probably uh, this is the uh, box in which easily they have been written the benedict qualitative solution so we need not to identify the solution uh, the examiner will give the bottle in such a way that there will be there will be name written on the solution so the question is what are the ingredients that is present in this reagent and what is the use of this reagent so this is the classical reagent that you have studied in the very first part of your uh, practical uh, biochemistry lectures so the given uh, is the benedict's reagent that you can see in the image also and the constituent or the ingredient present in it is the copper sulfate solution sodium carbonate solution and sodium citrate solution you need not know, know the exit concentration of it that how much amount of copper sulfate sodium carbonate and sodium citrate is present you need not know, know that only the name of the reagent that is been present only the name of the constituent that is present in the reagent is important what is the use the use for this uh, reagent is for the detection of the reducing substances so guys thanks again for uh, uh, viewing this video and if you really like this video and seems it to be helpful to you please like share and subscribe this uh, subscribe to our channel and share this video to your friends and uh, just do let me know in the comment section that uh, uh, what is the uh, that how this video has been useful to you thank you thanks again for supporting us